Hey guys, David HD Trucks and Equip right here in fabulous Henderson, Tennessee. And I managed to snag a couple more of these uh, movers slash studio production trucks. Uh, we get these out of California. We just brought this one and its sister back uh, night before last. So we drive these 2,000 miles and they're fabulous. They're just like riding around in a Cadillac. They're, uh, they're uh, comfortable air ride suspension, automatic transmissions, Cummins motors. They're just really, really, really nice. So this is an F650, and you probably noticed already it is a crew cab. And it has a huge, specially designed box on back for the uh, movie uh, production industry. It has Billy uh, storage underneath the bottom here, just kind of like a mover's truck. And of course, we all know how that goes. I think I have them open on the other side, but I do want to show you. Oh, let's not get water on my camera. Look at there. Definitely a California truck. There's no rust on this. No rust on this thing anywhere. It's absolutely fabulous. It does have, I'm going to step back so you can see it. It does have the uh, curbside entrance door. It's even got a step right there so you uh, don't have to bring your own ladder to get in it. And of course it's got like the semi latches on it. Solid, solid. Inside you'll see it's got the solid oak floor. Damage free. It's got the hardwood boards all the way up the side so you can lay stuff up against it. It's got the nice little attic up there. It's got multiple tie straps all the way around the sides. Translucent top. And it has both 12 volt and 120 volt lighting in it. So if you're loading in a dark situation and you uh, don't want to leave the truck running, you can plug a 124 volt power source into it and uh, uh, be able to run the extra power. As a matter of fact, there it is right there. You just run a regular extension cord, plug it right into that. And then you got 120 voltage uh, for the lighting inside. I want to show you something else here. They also have a couple of dry cell batteries right there. Now they're charged automatically by the alternator on the truck. But they're designed so that if you need to run the lift gate a little more than usual, you can run it without having the engine running. You're just going to have to watch what you're doing with it so you don't run it out. Pal finger is the uh, lift gate on it. This is kind of cool. Notice it's got a uh, trailer hitch right there, receiver hitch built right into it. And this is a self-leveling large platform lift on it. And it's made to carry some weight, that's 4,400 pounds. So what you have is two controls here. You have one for up and down, and I'll just show you, that goes up and that goes down. You can see it operating right over there. And this one here is the one that you have to tilt it. So you can raise it, you can lower it, you can tilt it, you can do whatever you want to do with it, right? So when you go to lay it down, it'll go down and it'll automatically level. And when you lift it back up again, it'll level itself out first. And then you can finish leveling depending on what the angle is that you need by doing that right there. So when this goes up, all you do is you tilt this all the way forward up like this. And if you look on the pictures, you'll get the idea that becomes the tailgate. It's an extra, extra tall unit. So I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that, no, but all you do is you just slide that down. It's on those little hydraulic cylinders right there. You just manually pull that down, raise the lift gate up, and the lift gate becomes your tailgate as well. Solid. 24 foot box. So here's what they look like when they're all open. And of course, as I say, California truck, rust free. I do want to show you something else that I think is really nice. And just bear with me. Oh, hopefully this will zoom in on there for you. Airbag suspension. Very nice. Look at the tires. This is the way we get the trucks from these guys. These are, uh, these are, uh, as I say, they're movie production trucks. And so the movie people, you know, they're kind of used to spending a little bit of money and they don't want junk on their lots. So these guys have to keep these up. That's a marathon box. They have to keep these up. Look at the interior on here. 
absolutely gorgeous. And of course the seat, I don't know if I can do it with one hand or not, but the seat will fold up like that. There's your flares and your safety there. Or you can go like this and you can fold it down that way. All the way across the course. So depending on how you want to set the seats up. Okay, so nice, nice unit all the way around, passenger side. Right here you've got your uh, little air assist seat on it right there. Straight, clean, no rips or tears. There's your power windows, your power, uh, power windows, power door locks. This is your little control to turn the power on and off for the uh, power tailgate on back. Solid little truck. Clean, clean, clean. Nice little piece right there. That's a uh, CD player and an MP. I assume that's probably what that is there. Air conditioning heater system. There's your air ride suspension gauge. Uh, nice little, uh, nice little, easy little Ford. So that's just a parking light on. I'll take that off for you. So you can see that is running. There's no check engine lights. And it's 116. 116,000 miles. There's your cruise control. Nice, clean little truck. No issues with this thing. We drove this thing 2,000 miles and it runs just as nice as you can expect. Lots of storage in the doors area right there. Just a nice, clean truck. That's a 25,999 GBW. Front tires on it are just as good as the rear tires. Everything on this truck is just so, so nice. So that's a 2012 model. It was built in January of 12. F650 Super Duty with a Cummins motor. Big studio box on back. Clean, sharp. Got the chrome grill on it. Everything, such a nice truck. If you can use this truck, you give me a call. My personal cell phone number is 602-510-5444. And as always, I appreciate you looking.